Where are you going, bud? So we did name the pup Ripper. As you can see, he likes ripping everything he gets his teeth on in the garage. Show me what you got, Ripper. Where are you going? Bruno, go get him. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on the 2017 Suzuki DRZ. In the previous episode, we did get the bike disassembled and today we got a few parts in. Before we get to those, if you do wanna support the channel and cop one of these hats, be sure to DM me on Instagram or hit me up through email. I'll leave those links in the description. For now, let's go ahead and open up these boxes and check out what we got. Oh, check that out. So this is a used one, but it's in pretty good shape. The bearings feel nice and tight. That's flipped upside down though, but we got a pretty good deal. This thing was only a hundred bucks. Let's go ahead and move on to this one. Let's go ahead and unbox these real quick. I wanna check them out. How do those feel? They feel awesome. I don't know how, I don't know how they're gonna feel on the bike, but they kind of look like they're a little bit too long. We'll just have to see. Wham, 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 wham. Heck yeah, that's pretty sick. Let's go ahead and jump on these clamps real quick and see if we can get them on. So we did kind of screw up on the clamps here. As you can see, the diameter of our forks was a whole lot bigger. So we'll pick you guys up in a few days. What's up guys? Next day here, we got some more parts in for the DRZ. To start things out, we got the correct triple clamps right here. We went ahead and got a used speedometer or cluster, whatever you want to call it. A new ignition switch right here. And we're probably just going to go ahead and make another key for the gas lock and the steering lock. Not a big deal. We got some MSR handlebars right here. We got most of those back together. We got some upgraded radiators. Check those out. We got a brand new plastic kit. Can't wait to see what that looks like. But for now, let's go ahead and jump on the front suspension and throw it on the bike. He ain't gonna cross thread it or anything like that. As long as he doesn't mess with that bearing. Dude, he's trying to take those threads off. I can hear him. Stop that, Ripper. You got the bearing. He's helping us out. Come on, buddy. You got it, you got it. Just a little bit more. Ooh, that's kind of nasty, bud. It's got a little bit of grease on it. Go, go get you some food or something. So let's play and let's get to work.
This speedometer is probably like the most expensive part, right? You got it. Dang, but I'm liking how that's turning out. Oh yeah. It feels nice and solid in here. Some of you guys did say that the frame right here was bent. I don't know what you guys were seeing in the video. I don't see any damages right in this area. So we'll just have to see how the bike rides. For now, let's get it back together. Turn that sucker up, dude. Should be good right there. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, let's keep moving. One down, one to go, right? Yes, sir. the handlebars man we are moving right along check this out got the front wheel on now it's starting to look like a bike you know dang i'm getting excited for this oh yeah dude this thing is taking shape in no time Listen to this, guys. It's gonna cool your bike a whole lot better too, I think. Oh yeah, it better. What's up boys, next day here and last night it did get kind of late on us and I didn't really want to bust out the pressure washer. But for now let's fire that joint up, give the frame and engine a nice detail and make this bike look brand new.
All right, guys, that's a wrap for this episode. I really wanted to get the bike started and get the new plastic kit installed, but we are still waiting on the exhaust. It's being delayed. I think it got on back order or something like that, but we'll just save it for the next episode. With all this said, thanks, guys, for all the love and support. If you are new on the channel, hit that like bell and sub button to support the channel. Follow us on Instagram at danny.tv. The link is in the description. Let me know your suggestions down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm out. I'll catch you in the next one.